been getting a lot of people asking me, how did you start your container garden? What are the first steps that I need to take? And how can I start a garden in containers? I've never gardened before. What do I do first and how do I do it? Well, everyone pretty much has to figure out exactly what they need for their zone, for their yard and their garden. But there are a few things that you can do to get started in your container garden. There are certain questions that you want to ask yourself and get the answers to along the way and in the beginning of starting a container garden. When I first started my container garden, it was purely by accident. I wanted to only grow a few herbs on my kitchen counter and I actually went and bought these really cute pots and I wanted to maybe grow some rosemary, oregano, some thyme, just a few things, things that I used to cook with. I had no intention on growing a full-blown container garden. Because one day I was going to cook a steak and I didn't have the rosemary. I had the garlic, but I, I wanted to have the rosemary and the garlic and baste my steak with it. And I said, man, maybe I should grow some herbs because I don't want to run to the store. I don't feel like doing that. So I said, you know what? I think I will grow the herbs I use the most, maybe some parsley and some thyme, some of my favorite herbs right here on my kitchen counter. As I said, I went out and got my pots and everything, my soil, and I was setting up everything. And then out of nowhere, my husband comes along and he says, you're not getting ready to have those plants in here, are you? And guess what I said to him? Well, if you feel like that, anywhere you can sit a pot, you can grow a plant. And I took my pots outside and put them on my deck. And now, look at me now, because once I grew my first rosemary is what I started with, and I grew that rosemary and I cooked with it. I bought another steak and I basted my steak with it. I had never tasted anything like that in my life. And I realized at that particular point in time that what I was buying was not fresh, no matter how fresh it was, even when I went to the farmer's market. Well, because the farmers harvested it. Do I know when they harvested? Maybe they harvested it and kept it inside their house for a few days before they brought it to the farmer's market. But if I grew my own and I harvested my own, it was as fresh as fresh can be. And here we are today. So some questions that you need to start off with. So some of the questions that you want to start off with is where do you want to have your garden? Where do you want to place your garden? And then you need to measure that space out. Do you want your container garden close to your house like I have mine? Or do you want it way back out there at the fence? What type of person are you? Are you someone that wants to walk out there every time to water or harvest something? Think about those questions, then measure your space. After you measure your space, you then need to think about what do you want to plant? What type of vegetables do you want to plant? What do you want to grow? Do you want to grow tomatoes? Or do you want to grow peppers or lettuce or what do you want to grow in your garden? These are the things that you have to take into consideration and then you need to figure out the variety that you may want to plant as well. If this is your first time gardening, I would suggest that you go with some of the favorite herbs that maybe you use when you cook or that you like for tea or something like that as well. There's so very many things that you can plant in your garden. So you have to decide what's best for you. You also need to do the research. After you figure out what plant you want to grow, then you need to decide, okay, what do I need to make this happen? What kind of supplies am I going to need? What fertilizer does this plant take? How much water does this plant take? Do I have the time and the energy to water the plants? And if not, do I need to get install some type of drip irrigation? What exactly do I need to do? Once you do your research and you make your decision as to what you want to plant, 
then it's time that you go ahead and start thinking about varieties of plants that you might want to plant in your garden. I would suggest that if this is your very first garden, that you don't go out and spend a ton of money on a bunch of things and you start off small. Remember, I started off with just the one plant and I added and added and added. You need to get the hang of it. I would also not suggest that you start growing seeds indoors. Go to your local nursery or your big box store and get plants that you want to grow. If you want to grow tomatoes or cucumbers or lettuce, spinach, whatever it may be, squash, see if you can find see if you can find starter plants that are already ready to start. I would suggest for every starter plant, you buy a pack of seed and you plant them both. Plant what's in the packet of seed according to the instructions on the back of the packet, but plant them near each other. Most every plant will grow in a five gallon container. So start off whether it's a bucket and you do not have to be fancy. Start off with playing buckets or whatever you want to do. If you want to go out and buy some five gallon buckets, you can. When I started off, I went straight and bought 13 and a half gallon pots and I put my first starter rosemary plant in it. I did not start my first rosemary plant from seed. I did not start it indoors and let it grow. I went to the big box store and I got me a little rosemary and I came back and put it in my pot. And before long, I had a big, huge rosemary bush. I would suggest that you plant the starter plant along with the seed so that you can see, number one, first and foremost, which one did you like growing the best? I do not like starting seeds indoors. I have done it so that I would know how in case I ever need to. I know how to grow seeds inside. I know how to do the hardening off process. I have been successful at it. I hate it, okay? It is not joyful to me. So make sure in starting your garden, whatever you're doing, it brings joy to you. It brings a sense of peace to you. You should be peaceful in your garden. It should be a place of calmness and serenity. So don't make work for yourself that you may not want to do, okay? So start off with one starter plant and a pack of seeds. And I keep saying tomatoes and cucumbers and lettuce because those are typically things that most people want to grow. Not everyone, but that's a fairly good starter thing to do is tomatoes, cucumbers, <laughs> squash, things like that, lettuce. So go find you a starter, small starter tomato plant. Find you a pack of seeds. Get two five gallon buckets, put the seed in one and the plant in the other and begin to water, begin to nourish them, okay? The plants always remember this and this is for Anyone, seasoned gardeners should know this, but it's just for anyone. Your plants will tell you what they need, just like a child. Once a child starts to talk, they'll tell you if they're hungry. And when a baby cries, you know it's hungry. It's the same thing with your plants. They will droop or they'll wilt or they just won't look right. They'll tell you what they need. And if you water them and they still look droopy or sick then maybe they need fertilizer if you've checked them and there's no sign of bugs or anything maybe they need a nourishment make sure you're giving them the right nourishment i would say i would suggest anyone starting out to use 511 as your fertilizer what you want to do is look for what your plant is telling you just like when a baby comes here they can't talk but they tell you when they're hungry you know, okay, I've just fed you. Your, your diaper is dry. 
Maybe you don't feel good. Maybe I'm holding you in the wrong position. Maybe you want to get up and walk. So what do you do? You try this and you try that and you try everything you can think of until the baby calms down and you say, that's it. It's no different in your garden. It's no different in your garden. So this is how you start. That's just basics. I didn't get into, you know, how to dig the pot up and how to plant it. And I didn't get into all of that. Just the basics. It's more encouragement than anything to get you started. The bottom line, decide where you want your garden. Decide what you want to plant and don't go get 50 plants. Okay, I would suggest getting maybe four, six at the most. Start small and grow big. Okay, if you're planting six plants, then that should technically it will either be 12 because you'll have a starter plant and a seed for each thing you have chosen. Okay, so that you can find out what grows best in your garden, direct sowing or starter plants. Now, after you've done that, maybe the next year you want to venture out and say, okay, that was very successful. Let me try to get a jump on this and start some seeds indoors. I don't mind being late in the game because when I plant my seeds, everybody else is starting to harvest. I'm good with that <laughs> because I love starters and I love direct sowing. So I hope this has helped someone, all the people that have been asking me, how do I start? How do I get started? What do I do? Those are the first few things that you do. And it'll come to you as you keep going along, what you need to do next. And just keep watching and go back and look at some of my older videos. You'll find a lot of information in those as well. Take a second and subscribe to the channel. Turn on that notification bell so you won't miss anything. Take a look at my other channels, Cooking at Pam's Place and Pam's POV. I will leave both of those channels at the end of this video. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. I'm Pam, this is Zone 8A. And anywhere you can sit a pot, you can grow a plant.